Hi, welcome to NIMS Stack. Here today we are going to discuss about the steps which are involved to execute a source code from initial stage to executable stage. All the steps will be explained very clearly over here. So here you can able to see the sample code here. So we have wrote header files again namespace std using this one again now we have a function that is main function so entry point of the function again we have wrote some small statement over here that is see out all over i wanted to execute when you run this code so just you do the compilation first again after that you will going to run the code so what you will going to get it you will going to get the statement uh, you wanted to execute that is allow word you are getting here so in this case how the process is handled to execute a source code to executable code so that is what we need to understand we have a small diagram so we're going to see that diagram see this this is our diagram you can able to see this diagram so in this what we have there are certain things we have to discuss over here very important things again you have to know these things okay so here so we can able to see when you write a source code like this ash include iostream.h main again uh, see how it allow word or something you will want to write as a source code that source code where you will want to write you will want to write in the ide editor so this source code is molded in source file that source file is available in the source folder. So this source file will going to be compiled for execution purpose. So those are the steps I'm going to explain here. C++ source code. This is the file source file. So this source file will going to have an extension .cpp. So this is a C++ extension .cpp like egg.cpp. So what we're going to do? So we will going to initialize the preprocessor in this the main program. You can able to see in this main program as include iostream.h. So preprocessor is very, very important because it is the root of the program. It will going to load the program before compilation. That is the importance of preprocessor over here. Again, when you do this one, automatically the code will be turned into intermediate code. So this intermediate code will be compiled here. So when you give the code to the compiler, immediately the process will going to begin here. That process we will call it as compilation process. Fine. After that, this compiled code will be given to the assembler. Okay, assembly code. So when you do this compilation, immediately it will going to generate the assembly code. That code will be compiled over here in the assembler. That code will be uh, given to the assembler. Here, this assembler, again, it will going to convert the entire source code into the object code. Okay. This object code will going to have an extension. You can able to see .obj. So this is a object code extension. So the entire source code has been converted into object code. Okay. Anyway, we have an object code here just i wanted to execute this object code i need few more things for that we have one more that is called it as linker okay here compiler is a software assembler is a software again linker is a software what it will do linker immediately it will going to link few things that is our external libraries so external libraries are linked here as well as standard libraries are linked here for this object code so when you link all these external libraries and standard libraries for the object code, so immediately it will convert into executable code by the linker. Okay. I, I think it's clear. Then this executable code will be loaded in the loader. The loader what it will going to do it will start executing this code it will going to load the executable code which has the extension dot exe 
you can able to see here, which has an extension .exe. It will going to load that code immediately. Execution process will going to begin. So that process, when it begins, automatically you're going to get the output in the console screen. That is what we're going to get the output. That is something like hello world, etc., etc. What exactly wanted to execute? That is what exactly we are seeing over here. When I compile this, you can able to see here. Okay. So when I compile this one, this is my compilation process. When you compile this compilation process, will going to happen. Again, it immediately it will convert into assembly code. From the assembly code, it will be going to generate a object code. So now when you run this, so this update code will be loaded in the loader. Again, it will going to convert the object code into uh, exe code, nothing but executable code. So finally, you will going to get the output. So this is the process will going to happen in your C++ programming language. This is the initial to final stage process or uh, steps which are involved in execution of program thank you